Hello my precious cinnamon rolls, my name is Fofo and I'm here back again playing Loren the Amazon Princess and I can't remember what we're doing, as usual. <laughs> All right. Inventory, quests. Oh right, diamond. Get the diamond on the dwarven mines. Okay. The dwarven diamond mines were under quarantine but only a warning sign was hung outside of the entrance. Draco says, that's it. Pledge to the guards to keep us from going in and killing ourselves. Amos says, we're trying to keep our city from falling pieces, if you don't mind. A sign is good enough. Draco says, we're just going to ignore it, though. Amos says, yeah, point. Draco closed his mouth and followed Ramos silently as he led the group in down into the mines. Oh, I think there's a maze in puzzle in here. Which, oh, I don't like mazes. Does anybody actually like mazes? Uh, the group was in awe of the chambers and glittering jewels. Roma says, what do you expect? This is a dwarven mine. Doris says, pretty, pretty, pretty. <laughs> Dora danced around and looked at each gem with large eyes. It's another gem, so it's larger. Alma says, we're here to take only one, Dora. I says, oh sure, yeah, one. <laughs> and Wookiee says, are we allowed to take from you? I said, Doris says, technically, no. But seeing as all the miners can't get in here, what's the harm of doing their job for them? Paul Minister says, let them not forget there's a reason we're not permitted in here. There's a plague here. Also, there's a, probably a miners' union. Fog seemed out of a mind so, Would that be it? Well done. Julia! They watched the fog closely. The figures started to merge. Oh no! Dora says, The miners, what happened to them? She says, Behold our fates if we don't avoid the plague as we should. The miners saw the groups and pulled over them as quick as they could. These are dwarven zombies, right? The party set up. Oh, uh, well, we have to have Eleanor and Loren in the party. Um, we see there's two mages. Um, got Eleanor in the front row because don't have a mage in the front row. Um, Merv and Chambara. We've got Undead Alchemist and Walking Dead and other oh, party. We should probably get rid of the Alchemist. Weak again. Oh, the weak. The slow attacks, but no. Oh, and fire. The weak fire. Okay. And these are the weak fire and frozen. Says under dwarves. That's that's awesome. Oh. <laughs> Dora bopped Drake on the arm. That's my kin. It is totally not. It totally is not awesome. I'm um, keeping says We should be here. Go we'll watch the fog get closer. I um, says. Then let's find the biggest diamond and get gone. So how about that one? A magnificently large gem glitched in the wall. It was unparalleled by anything else in the cab. Says. Get it out before more attack. Dora was the first one to look at it. More undead miners are shambling out of the fog. So almost have it. You axe the waste, shall we? Three! So I struggled with the diamond, but nothing happened. It ain't coming out. Too late, more or less. Each miner hobbles for them. It's the minekeeper, we all thought he died. Right. Okay. I think we're good. Oh, we need to heal. Eleanor needs to heal. Not the exact same fight, only with a, a, a more powerful zombie in the middle. Okay. Oh, you. Okay. Oh, whoopsie. Oh well, uh, we'll have to wait for a healer. 
monster in my pet. Oh dear, I'll oh, jump. Ah. I will never forget. We had a little death problem here. Because I brought the dwarves and they're not very high level. Right. Half my party's dead, but we're, we're nearly done. Nobody leveled up. Oh. Oh, just help me, it won't budge the stupid thing. Dora and Ramas rushed to the wall and started to dig around to listen around it to listen to it. Dora says, Everyone, help her. They all tried to pull a hack of the world to force stamina out. Dora says, Here we go. One final one final pull final Lee, presumably, dislodged the diamond and everyone fell back. The large diamond plopped on Dora's lap. Dora says, Ah, pretty thing, isn't it? This is Ella. very pretty. Do you think it will do, Ramos? It'll do. And let's hurry from his mind to I'm starting to cough. The fog was almost upon them. Ella says, we need to hurry out of here now. Says, hmm, which way did we come in? And I looked around the cabin and couldn't remember what path they took to get there. It says, run. The fog forced a decision. Eleanor led them down the first mine shaft encounter just to escape the early fog. And at least part leave there. Eleanor needs to lead the party to safety, but all tunnels look the same. She'll have to rely on dwarven logic to understand the way out. If Paddy can rest to catch the breath of the fog will come closer. If Paddy's caught in the fog, they will die. Uh, says this place looks like a labyrinth. I'll notice that the symbols and markings are on the tunnel entrances, which is likely the way the mine was navigated. There are many doors marked with a black chalky outline, but there's also a door with a mark with a white X above it, and another mark door marked with a white O above it too. Save my game. Game. My the the maze. Uh, let's try the black door. Zombies. Oh, well, that was not good. Right, full health now, though. So. Party's dead already. Yeah, they did, they did definitely need leveling up those guys.
Oopsie. Oh well. Oops, strong attack. Never mind. There we go. That everyone's okay. Still haven't leveled up. Got more bombs, so that's good. That says, wait, we already passed through here, we're running in a loop. Oh, many doors, my black child. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So the black door was we'll save the game. Black door was for the zombies. Okay, white X door. More undead. Okay. Fine. Oh dear, Ellen on this healing. Heal yourself, girl. I should have taken the other path. I'm gonna die. Not the same game. Yeah, we'll try the white zero door instead. There are several ways to go from here. To the right, there were many empty mine carts, but to the left, there were full mine carts, so no mine carts in the center. Ah, uh, well, save my game since I've made progress. So what uh, empty mine carts would be going in? Uh, uh, full ones would be going out. No mine carts. Which would be? Um, <laughs> I don't know. Let's go left. There are three tunnels I can take. One of the pickaxe symbol door, one of the bird symbol, and one of the skull symbol. Bird would be the way out, surely. There's a distant feeling from each of the tunnels ahead. A distinct feeling. Uh, the left tunnel was still smaller than the assault for the central tunnel was pitch black, and the right tunnel was freezing cold. Uh, right tunnel? Oh, they saw light and the rental loaded without stopping. They poured out the mine collapsed on the ground, breathing in the fresh air. Because it says, let's not look in your signs anymore, okay? Or says, we're gonna die, and what are you complaining about? I caught our breath when I was the first to stand. We should give this to the vampire immediately. Oh, no, 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 took the diamond from Dora, she was looking from town down there. Yay! Save the game again. Uh, let's go back to the castle. Progress says, welcome back. Mama says, we retrieved the diamond. Zaka says, I knew you would not disappoint. Every so often I can trust the strangers. Zaka says, hand it to me. Mama says, on the Amazons? Zaka says, they are yours, if you like. Mama says, where are they? Zaka says, first, the diamond. Elna held up the diamond and looked over at the red. They were a little suspicious, but they couldn't risk the Amazons' lives. Zachary took the diamond and relished in its beauty. Quest completed! Excuse me. Yay! Zaka says, oh, perfect. Yes, perfect. Mama says, our sisters? Zachary produced a key from his robe without taking his eyes from the diamond. He held it out to Loren with a little interest. Valerie deserves nothing left. He took the diamond away just as Loren starts to keep from him. Now take your friends and flee from home. If any of you return, there will be no diamond large enough to save you. Loren eyed the vampire as he flicked his wrist to reveal a hidden door in a room. Loren and the and all rushed over and it opened. Inside was jailed. The lost Amazons were scattered around the cell sleeping, but they popped up the sound of the door scraping open. And it says, Princess Loren? They couldn't believe their eyes as Lorena unlocked their cell door. And it says, we freed you, we leave immediately. And it says, thank you, your majesty, but Brazer. Suddenly so they heard the striking call of the griffin from the windows, Lorena smoked. That would be her. The Amazons jumped with joy and piled up the cell. Karen, Karen entered, forcing them all to salute. The scoutmaster has come, it's our way to the top of the tower. And it says, there may be your highness this way. We walked up to the long spiral staircase, the rest of the tower and ended on the roof. Razor was circling overhead with a fleet of griffins. Sleepy. <laughs> Sleepy. Scouts, my sisters. As Amazons cheered for their leaders, she landed the griffins so that they call right back home. Anyway, back at the citadel. We're going to slow everyone back to the citadel. Peace, every person escapes safely. The Amazons agreed their arrival were cheering. Razor and the scouts are taken into their care, and their rescues were celebrated. Yay! Oh, everybody leveled up except Dora, despite the fact that she's very close to leveling up. Everything is skill, no skill points. I think it will. We get swarm does earth damage, that's interesting. Something does swarm too. Must be swarm. 
leveled up. Um, uh, aged. Okay. Oh, trouble is leveled up as well. Uh, Ray, put everything in. Um, Draco, even put everything in. Well, Chambara. Grab that heat blood. That's a good spell. Uh, Lorenz leveled up. Put it in strength. The all enemies in the front line. Yes, we'll need that one. Ramas, get the strength. Get that in rage too. Uh, Karen, that would be in skill. She's not got any skill points. Ray. Skill. Deadly strike. Salazar, everything. Strength. Lightning reflexes. Two. Dora didn't level up. Murph did, but everything in well. No skill points. The heroism demonstrated Castle Mal would passed on for generations by the Amazon. would be considered one of the defining acts of notoriety for Princess Loren. Inherit her. Notoriety is not a positive thing, surely. Her actions would help restore the scouts and give them a chance to fully support the war against evil. Yay! So, we have quests. Oh, I need to go to the Hawk Orcish Waste to find this Death Knight. But when I went to the Orcish Waste, well, there wasn't anything there. It was they had salvage, so maybe we go to the Vault Lair. The party was standing outside of a big cave, once inhabited by a vault. The only sound of the desert wind. Search cave for death. Now that's right. They explored the depths of the cave, depths even of the cave, and found that it belonged to the mountain range of Oberon. The heat was unbearable. I feel uneasy here. I said. It says, "Yeah, it's really hot." It says, "Not that." It says, "There is evil near." It says, "I feel the dark." Ambara says, the Death Knight is here, alright. And I says, oh no, look! They saw a dull light pull out of the tunnel ahead. Lauren cautiously entered the tunnel and exited into a natural glow. The light was locked only by the silhouette of a monstrous man. Lauren moved in front of everyone to protect them. Who are you? The glowing man turned around. He held no emotion. And Zara says, it's really a... a the Death Knight stared at them. His foam was ghost-like, as if it was made of smoke. His eyes pulsed with a haunting blue. Everyone, even Loren, went as cold as ice in his presence. Lauren says, we must call the Necromancer. However, no one moved a muscle. The icy glare of the Death Knight froze him in place. The Death Knight says, who are you? They looked at each other. He was speaking to them, not killing them. Lauren says, I am Princess Loren of the Amazons. Knight's eyes scanned everyone in the party and rested on Mesfit. His expression changed for the first time. A demon sighed you. As it looked around to make sure he was the one being addressed. It says yes. I'll know. I was unsure if that was a good or bad thing in the eyes of this night, but he didn't react. He only returned to look at the rest of them. I am Zeal. Even this one sta statement shed shudders through the whole group. The knights took one step forward and the rest took several steps back. Zeal nodded their fear, and the hawk laid on Lauren's hip. Do you plan to kill me or not? Lauren says, Is it even possible? Zeal says, It is. But are you willing to pay the price? Lauren says, Mother Morty mentioned nothing about the price. Zilka fell on noise full attention. A necromancer, you've made a deal with one. Lana well, says we have, she convinced us there was no other way. You are being used. I am more valuable to you alive than I am dead. Polymetra says a death lies only place is the underwell. Zeal says I belong here. Zeal's voice boomed and his eyes grew bright. Lana says, but your kindness has destroyed our world since the beginning of time. Zeal says I walked this land the same with you, this was my home. Lana well, says, how is that possible? Zeal says, another has attempted to destroy it, he is called Forst. The name stung their ears. One says, you know him? Zeal says, I'm here to destroy him. Everyone in quiet. If you destroy me, you will lose your grace ally. So I ask again, are you willing to pay that price? Loren looked over at Elm. They were both conflicted with what they had just learned. For a death knight, Zeal wasn't as terrible as they predicted he would be. And I'm going to end this episode here on this cliffhanger choice. Hi, this is Fo. Thanks for watching this video. If you liked it, please leave a like, comment. And if you really liked it, please subscribe.